resume. Let her soften him up a bit. Do four bites. Okay. Now let me do the rest. There we go. See, Goldie and I are working as a team here, man. That is freaking awesome. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth and uh, the Witch Doctor series. I'm the Bearded OG, and Goldie and I are going to go ahead and get going this morning. Uh, so I spent an uneventful night on the roof, just stayed crouched, didn't do anything. Um, we uh, need to heal first, so let's do that uh, with the one bandage we have. And food and water is going to be a thing. Um, so we need to focus on that. Uh, we do have murky water. Um, we could also, I mean, we do need to also make a campfire, but we'll need a cooking pot before we can turn that to boiled water. Um, and yeah, so I think the first thing we should do is go maybe take a job from Rec because we can do jobs here in, uh, oh, what, why did I do that? I was thinking, <laughs> damn it, Jim, I was thinking I had a ladder there. Uh, okay, well, so much for the health we just got back. Damn it. All right. Um, we could actually just clear this POI. It's only a level one, and then that way, uh, you know, then we can put, like, a land claim block down and all that sort of thing. So let's do that. And it's going to be dark, guys, until I can, you know, get a, a helmet mod or something. Oh, thanks, Goldie. You just saved me a hit. I do, you know, I do have a torch, but we can't use the torch while we're while we're fighting so much uh, I could try and remember to put it down and pick it back up but then I'm probably just gonna you know forget about it <laughs> but we'll see uh, let's pick up stuff that we can sell to wrecked so that way we can actually buy distilled water uh, shoot that's damaged that sucks <clears throat> so yeah we'll, we'll we're gonna be doing a lot of that in the early game and that's one thing you know if you guys are watching rebirth for the first time that you can do uh, if it's sell price of one, I am not taking up an inventory slot. And that... Oh, I can s I can scrap this in my inventory? Oh, wow. Okay. Now, maybe I can do that in... Yeah, I can probably do that in, in the purge, too. It's just that uh, there's a lot of things you have to use the scrapper for, which is a special workstation. There's a weapons bag. Nice. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Um, this will come in handy when we get a pipe thing going. And can I put any of those on here just to strengthen them? I can, because right now we're doing 12 melee damage and 24 power. That bumps it up a little bit. Nice. Okay. So let's continue going through this place. Uh, I don't have any kind of a ranged attack. So let's just hit those guys and bring them out this way. Let Goldie... Also bite him in the ass. Come on, dummies. Get him, Goldie. Okay. Gotta mind our stamina here. Good work, Goldie. Okay. Um, there's an ammo pile. Good. Can I pick up the servers? Nope. <laughs> I'll bet those would sell for a lot. All right. Here's a medical and a fat loot crate. Oh, thank goodness. Let's take that now. It's going to give us health and food. And we also got our first armor piece. Let's wear it. Uh, I believe I can make the the cloth or the fiber armor, which we, we actually need to do too. Um, we'll put that in there just because we can. It's not really going to do much for us here in the, in the forest, but, Oh, okay. Um, 
let's let's hold off on taking that to see if we can avoid taking that and instead get to the trader and oh nice we got hammers and stuff I'm at 19 things encumbered Goldie I'm gonna need your help girl um, why don't you hang on to I'm gonna keep one of these and so, well actually I, I'm gonna need both of them so I'll probably hang on to those but stuff that I'm going not going to sell I'll have Goldie hang on to uh, for now why don't we give her all of the genetics too because once we get the auto mod she'll pick those up for us automatically and she'll also pick up cloth from the zombos and probably oh well I guess we already put the the brains in there uh, let's also give her like the pistol part for now okay boxes with the white text on them can be looted here in the mod so that's a handy thing Okay, this door is unlocked. Let's see if we can loot this vehicle without waking anybody up. Well, hello there, Nurse Nancy. Nice. I have to remember that I don't need to be as close to them as I think I need to be. Because they have some pretty serious reach. That actually works. Oh, yeah, it does work. All right, you know what? There's no reason why we shouldn't have this be our first base. Okay, so um, what we need to do is we need to find a screwdriver and a pliers, and then we can make these tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hammer in there. Actually, let's put both of the hammers in there for now because we'll need one to use as an actual hammer. Um, and... Let's also store uh, some of these other crafting parts that I'm not going to give to the trader right now. Um, the electrical parts, there's not really anything we're going to need those for immediately, and those do sell for a decent amount of change. Um, mechanical parts, I'm not sure, so let's let's keep those. And we'll, Oh, that's the other thing, too. I want to find... Uh, we need to pick up some storage boxes. We, we are going to perch on the roof... Uh, so this will be a storage box for us here. So we'll take that stuff. Um, I'm going to sell that. There's, you know, that's not something we're going to be able to use for a long time. So we might as well sell it to get the money, right? And yeah, so we'll put some storage boxes on the roof. I'm going to uh, set up a, a ladder so we can get up there too. And this we're going to need for a couple of different things. But here again, later on, so probably not worth me hanging on to it right now let's pick this box up for storage oh, that's cool that we've got that workbench right there for us to use um this we can pick up and either use for storage or sell this we'll pick up and use for storage so really handy you don't even really need to to build storage in this game you know in the early game let's not open that door because it just goes outside Checking the toity for some plastic. Uh, this is that we can use to get water uh, when we have empty jars or empty glasses. So I guess I guess that's it. I think we're done uh, clearing this place. Can I pick this up? See how much a hand truck sells for. Oh, nope. It is not worth taking up an inventory slot. Okay, so it looks like we've cleared this building. Um, I can pick these up for storage too, but let's see if we can get by with what we have for now and then if I need to. So we got a water source. Uh, we actually have a couple water sources because the toilet works for that too. Because, you know, that's what you do in these apocalyptic games is you drink toilet water, right? Am I right? Um, and then what we'll do now is we need to secure a spot up on the roof. How strong is this? Oh, okay. I'm gonna break the the bottom uh, two rungs here, um, and then we'll you know then we'll have the other rungs, and then I just need to make a couple of ladder pieces for the top. And we're right next to the trader too, so this is really kind of an ideal location to set up our very first you know starter base. It's a stout building. We got the water sources. We got the the work uh, or, or the tool bench, workbench, whatever the hell it's called. So yeah, it's not a bad spot. 
Um, the reason I'm holding off on using that vitamin is because I want to get to the trader and see if we can make enough money to buy... Um, we're going to need to buy distilled water. Nice bite, Goldie. <laughs> it's awesome if you kick the shit out of her. Um, <clears throat> if we can have enough money to, to buy, you know, stuff to make good food. And if we don't, then I'll just pop the vitamin and eat the crap food that we currently have. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do now is we're going to need to take and make uh, three ladders. Um, actually, let's let's make uh, the same style of ladder, so that way if we upgrade them later, they they look good. Okay, and then we'll plop back up here. And let's go ahead and, and set our storage crates down. Um, how much space does this... Oh, that's got a, actually got a decent amount of space. Uh, is Goldie fighting somebody? Good. Okay, so, um, let's put all of these ingredients in there, uh, because I, I want to try and get a campfire first. Um, is she, what is she doing? Here, let's just call her up here. There we go. And I'm not, I'm not worried about, um, you think, you know, keeping things nice and neat right now. Uh, we need to get her inventory anyways. We'll grab all of that. We're just going to, you know, store stuff in here that we want to keep. That we're going to sell. We're going to keep the injector, the food, the flesh, the bullets we can exchange. Um, let's keep all of these in here just so they're together. And we got to, as soon as we find an anvil, then we're going to be able to make that. And maybe we'll put weapon parts in there. Um, I want to hang on to that battery. Uh, we don't need the lights for now. We can always get that stuff later. We want to keep, did I fill this all the way up? No, we have a few more slots in here. Let's also put these on broadcast. If you don't know what that does, it allows me to pull stuff from these crates for crafting. Uh, without having to actually take them out as long as I'm within range, which is good. Um, okay, so we'll put the iron, the plastic, the cloth, the clay soil. That's easy enough to come by later, so I don't think I'm going to even take up space with that. Same thing with the plant fibers. Nitrate is not something we're going to need anytime soon, so let's not take up space with it unless I can sell it. Yeah, no sell price. Uh, we want to keep bones so we can keep our bone weapons uh, repaired this is used for or to make distilled water all right well it's going to be a while before we're going to be able to do that but we'll hang on to it i suppose um we can keep the wood there and then we're selling all of that i don't think we need sticks uh, we are going to need small stones to make the fireplace so let's keep those in there and um We'll keep the frames. I'm going to make uh, need to make some more frames. Where's my... Okay, there's my toolbox. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to get some more nails, but let's worry about that in a little bit. <coughs> okay. Let's head on over to the trader. Sell what we can. <clears throat> in fact, can I pick up a couple more things? We'll sell anything we can that's worth taking up an inventory slot. No sell price. Uh... Oh, you know what, though? I can, can I? Charcoal girl, can I use? Oh, that's just a container now. Okay, never mind. Actually, though, that's a decent amount of space. Get her, Goldie. Very good. All right. Um, we could also pick this up. Again, that we would use for storage. Might as well kill these assholes. Gotta watch that stamina.
Okay. There's some cash. Uh, Rebirth does not use... Uh, Dukes. It just uses straight up cash, by the way. Can we pick this up? No. Can we pick this up? Let's see how much this sells for here. Three dollar make you holla? That's borderline whether or not... It, I mean, the trader is right across the way, so we'll we'll take it. And the other thing, too, that's cool about the traders is you can sell to the, the trainer guys, too. You don't have to just sell to Wrecked, so you have more options for that. All right, let's pick up the refrigerator. The stove. The microwave. So, yeah, we're going to be able to get a decent chunk of, of money here, I think, to, to buy what we need. There's another mod we can put on our, our pipe weapon once we get it. Some corn, that's good. Uh, I don't remember how much this, the oven hood sells for. 15, yeah, okay, that's good. Um, let's see. Get some water maybe out of there. Oh, shit. Isn't that big asshole uh, one? Oh, that guy's scary. Yeah, we got it. This uh, dude that Goldie just... No, he's not dead yet. We got to kill him because he buffs the other guys. Now they're not as, as strong as they were. They're still kind of damn strong though, huh? Stamina problems. Goldie's doing okay. I can see her health in the upper left-hand corner, so she's she's not hurt bad. Zombie kin. Wow, like Barbie's kin, but zombified. Okay. Did we clear everybody out of here? Okay, we can pick this up. Um. Yeah, $26 make you holla. It's not bad. Sports bag. Some food. We'll take that. Um, We can't pick that up. We can pick this up and sell it. And then let's harvest all of this stuff for the cloth. And I guess we'll pick this up too. I should probably use the axe on. Get some plastics. Oh my god, look at that. We have no way to get into that right now. I mean, I could, but it would take a million years with the stone axe, so I'm not going to do it. Come on, stamina. Pain in the ass. Uh, a couple more ceiling fans, and then we'll go to the trader. Believe me, it's it's worthwhile for me to do all of this because it's going to going to help a lot. Okay, let's go see the trader. I mean, we, we might even make enough money to just straight up buy a cooking pot, which I might do, even though I know we're going to come across one eventually. But sometimes that eventually could be a while, you know, so. And we, we were supposed to talk to Elias anyways, which we never did. Okay, let's read this. Uh, Briston sent you, I see. You must need some combat training. Let's start with the basics. The essentials are that you move. the more you fight, the better you get at it. And focus on headshots as they will level you much faster. You'll be able to craft better weapons over time, so make sure to check your crafting skill to see when you can craft something better. Focus on your class weapons to progress the class and you'll do just fine. If you need any additional detail, let me know and I'll show you the ropes. Okay, cool. Um, now that you're saying... So. Oh. Yeah, we, we didn't even talk to him yesterday because there was so much going on. So we obviously want witchcraft... Uh, not witchcraft. Witch doctor. Which does do witchcraft. Okay. Which doctor is a master of black magic? Used to control the undead expertise in the use of scythes and tactical rifles as their domain, as well as crafting mind control brew and mind control arrows and boats. bolts. Uh, used to turn zombies to fight for them for a brief period. At low levels of black magic, normal zombies may be turned, but as black magic levels up, turning feral and radiated zombies may also occur. Bosses will resist this magic. Nice. Okay. Um... So the first step in going down the Witch Doctor path is to craft a set of starter weapons. We've already um, crafted the scythe, okay? 
And we've already talked about how I need to use the scythe uh, and the pipe rifle in order to make the book. So we've already gone through this. I explained all this yesterday, but pause the screen if you want to if you want to actually read what this says. OK, good. All right. Now let's open up Elias's inventory. He's got some missions that we can buy to get uh, crafting stations like the mortar and pestle, which is going to be very important for us to get. Uh, but for now, let's sell to him. So right now we have two hundred ninety five dollar Mickey Hala. And so we're going to sell the laptop, the lights, the trap uh, thingies, those. We're not, we don't want to sell um, ammo because we can exchange that. The chairs and couches and the bed, the range hood, microwave, oven, and refrigerator. See, that got us up to 715 cash. That's why I said it was worthwhile for me. Oh, and the ceiling fans too. Another 105 bucks right there. That's why it was worthwhile for me to go, you know, get that stuff. Okay. So now let's go over to Briston. And we want to do an ammo exchange and we want 762. So we, we'll get 10 762s for all the other types of ammo we have. That is a beautiful thing. We'll keep the ammo up there. And then we're going to go into here. And before we buy water, I want to see if Rekt has a cooking well, pot. Well, if you got mine, don't test my patience. It's thinner than your He wand. doesn't, son of a... Okay, that, that kind of changes things for us then. Ah, shit. Okay. Does he have duct tape or glue? Doesn't look like it. Well, Rekt, you're pretty much just fucking worthless to us. You cheap son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to buy this water, and we want to look for uh, cat food and dog food. Um, let's not spend a ton of money on that. We'll buy maybe two cat food, but we also need miso uh, to make the, the dish that I was thinking about. All right, that doesn't give us a whole lot of options then, son of a bitch. Um, I think what we're going to need to do then is... Oh, well, here, we got to drink these, so let's just do that now. Does he have any medical stuff? Take a look at the shit I got, but don't expect me to cook it for you. I can make those, and I should make those, actually. Get the hell out of yeah. my store. It's for real customers. Let's make bandages. Now, bandages in Rebirth, just normal plain bandages, will heal us. Um, not for a lot, but it's better than nothing, right? Uh, Billy Bob's the farmer. Once we kill 50 explosion immune zombies, he'll open up to us, and then he sells farming supplies and dogs and pets. Of course, we already have goldies, so uh, we can only have one dog early on. Uh, you can have more later, but... That's going to be a while, I think, before we can get to that point. All right. Let's consume probably all of these bandages just to uh, get our health under control. Whoops. Our water's not not in terrible shape now, and also our food's not dire. It's just getting low. Uh, we can we can pick his, his garden stuff, too. Uh, oh, no, we can't. Never mind. I forgot. The trader is invulnerable. Uh, here in the normal mod. In the, the purge, we could do it. Uh, FYI, this is the table saw. This is the shredder. And we'll we'll need those two tools for shredding, making boards, that sort of thing. Um, and he's not lootable either. So I guess we're done here for now. Um, so highest priority right now is to try and find a cooking pot and or a cooking grill. See if we can get some meat from some critters. And if absolute worst comes to worst, I'll just pop our vitamin and just eat the canned food straight up. But let's see if we can go a little longer before we have to do that. Um, all right, so we're we're in pretty good shape as far as our base goes. Um, here we can pick a bunch of corn. And actually, I can just pick it. There might be a pig in this field, and if there is... That's a good thing because Goldie and I can kill it for some food. So let's be on our guard. 
And uh, hell, if nothing else, we'll just make a bunch of grilled corn. But I've got to have a grill to do that, though. So we're, we still... Uh, oh, we're going to probably... Yeah, we're going to get some potatoes in this field. That's a good thing. Man, I'm having fun with this mod, you guys. I really am. If you're on the fence about it, I, I can't recommend it enough. Especially if you've... You know, if you're a normal seven days to die player, it just... It changes the game so much and in a good way. Um... So give it a shot if you haven't already. Uh, okay. Again, I'm trying to be careful of or watch for pig piggies. Uh, there we go. What? Oh, thanks, Goldie. You are amazing. I'm kind of surprised she attacked that snake. Well, she probably sensed that it aggroed on me because she's not supposed to attack on her own. I don't have her set to do that. Okay, here's some Zeke's coming. Yeah, I, I think if they aggro on us, then as she knows they're hostile, then she'll come after us. You know, one thing that occurred to me is that... Oh, actually, two things just occurred to me. If, if Goldie gets the kill, do I get credit for it? Probably not. Or maybe I do. Or at least, I, I probably get XP for it, but do I get scythe weapon credit for it? That's something we're going to have to see if we can determine. Okay, let's actually look at something real quick. Right now, okay, so I'm at 19.89. She just killed the Zom and I didn't get credit for it. All right, that's something we're going to have to... Hmm. Maybe what we do is... I let her soften the zombs up, but then I call her back so I can get the killing blow. All right. The other thing I wanted to test is, again, if we go into here and we look at scythes. So we're at 19.89. If I use this to harvest, did that increase? It didn't. What if I do it a couple of times? Maybe you need to hit a few before it registers as another point. All right, let's try that. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so there's no point in using the scythe, at least for harvesting plants. It's mostly, if not entirely, based upon getting kills, I think. But, hey, we're picking up a lot of corn, so we're not we're not going to starve, guys. We're going to be fine. Um, But we do have to find a grill, at least. Uh, ooh. Is that fucker coming after me? He is, because... Jeez, Goldie. Wow, she's got like a 10-foot bite there. That's fine with me because the zombies seem to have a 10-foot hit sometimes, and so we can kind of, you know, turn about fair play kind of thing, right? <laughs> okay. Now, maybe the other thing we could do with Goldie is if we just have one or two Zeeks, I just tell her not to fight at all, but then we activate her if we have, like, a lot. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to manage that. That's really what it boils down to. Okay, there is a dog house over here. Uh, I don't see a sleeping dog though, so hopefully there isn't one. We need to look. Uh, we need to look for barbecue. Uh, you know the charcoal barbecues, little ground, uh, ground round these guys. Uh, except for we need one that's not. You know, that's not already open. Let's check this vehicle here. All right. Uh, we can get some wood from this pile. And this is a tier three house. So, um, oh, we don't, we don't have credit for our bone scythe. I guess we're gonna have to make another one for the quest. Let's grab this. Should we try a ninja into the kitchen here just to find a cooking pot? The zombs are going to be pretty tough in here. But we might be able to handle it. Let's just poke our head in there and see what the feasibility is of doing that. Okay, there's some food. 
Come on, cookie pot. Damn it, Jim. We've got a 10-foot reach, too, man. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Can we reach the refrigerator? Potato. All right. Well, I mean, that was worth doing. We got some food, if nothing else, right? Okay, let's keep looking. Charcoal grill and or kitchens for cooking pots. It's already noon. My God. Days go by fast. I don't even have them set to 90 minute days. Okay, so. Hunting. No, not hunting. Full control. Okay, halt. Let me get the killing. Oh, damn it, Jim. <laughs> she must have been. She must have been bleeding. Okay, if he halts, he still follows me, right? He just doesn't attack. Okay, so shift, comma. Resume. Halt. Right, okay, so shift calm is the, the magic key there that we have to try and use to control the dog. So right now the dog's on passive. It won't attack until I do shift comma. So let's see if we can make that work. I'm obviously going to need uh, need its help a little bit. Her help, rather. In fact, let's do this. Let's do... Resume. Let her soften him up a bit. do four bites okay now let me do the rest there we go see goldie and i are working as a team here man that is freaking awesome teamwork makes the dream work baby okay let's uh harvest this because i'm gonna need to make another bone scythe to get credit for the quest uh, all right, we got a Zeke. We got two Zeke's over here. I am going to need to make a bow anyways to use my black magic arrows. Resume. Okay, let's let Goldie soften up. Oh. Okay, now let's take out Darlene. All right. Resume. Get him, Goldie. Halt. Nice. All right, that's the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the way to do it. Um, these are not actual shoes that I can wear like in vanilla but what they can do what I can do is I can use them to make a mod so we want to hang on to those of course um all right I think what we should do okay here's another Zeke resume let's take it out the uh, you know aside from getting food and water secured killing zombies is the most important thing we need to do right now Uh, is there anything in here? There's a toolbox. There we go. Oh, good. We found the anvil. That means we can make that... Uh, I think that means we can make that mod now. That was a nice find. Check this. Um, mm. See, those are going to make us thirsty. So let's not take those unless we really get into a bad situation. We can get some nails from these pallets here. All right, let's go home, drop a few things off, head back to the trader, make our mod, and then assess where we're at at that point. Yeah. I, I You know what? I think we're going to eat. And then after we eat, then we're going to find a grill or a cooking pot, and I'm going to probably say a few choice words, but a bird in the hand, right? That's kind of what we're looking at here. So um, also I want to make some more blocks too now that I'm thinking about it how many can I do one okay <clears throat> I'll need to get some more nails unless I have nails in here I may have put the nails actually down in the workbench 
This is another storage container for us. Okay, so let's pop our vitamin. And we might as well drink the water too because then we can fill up. All right, good. So we're going to just start eating. Well, you know what we could do? We could just eat a shit ton of corn. That'll get If we eat all of these, that'll give us like 62 food. Because if we can save our canned food, like we've got the miso. Do, do I have dog food? I don't. Okay, well, in, even so, it still isn't going to do us a damn bit of good. Um... You know what? I, if I would have thought this through a little bit more, I don't need to take vitamins to eat this raw food. Shit. Oh, well. Let's just eat it. I think I'll hang on to the eggs, because I think between this corn and potatoes, we probably have enough. Uh, but we can also, you know, drink this. We might as well, since we burn the vitamin, let's maximize the usage of it. So it wasn't a complete waste. It's just that if I had thought it through a little bit more, I probably would have waited on that, but that's okay. Let's also keep the can that canned food in there. Um, so I'm going to see if I can hang on to a few of the thingies of corn so we can make grilled corn later and baked potatoes as well. There we go. Okay. So we'll put all of that in there. We'll keep this with this. Um, that will go downstairs in... Oh, here. We got another container here. Uh, this we want to hang on to for later so that we can grind it. And we'll put... Uh, these food items in here as well. I'm not really going to be too worried about organizing things here because this is a very temporary setup that we have. And yeah, we'll use this to get some water. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up. Once we get a, a wrench, we'll be able to pick it up in one hit, but for now we have to just break it with the axe. We'll go downstairs. And I want to, what does it take to, re oh, we need a thingy of iron to repair that. Okay. So let's go in here. Uh, I actually want to keep this stuff upstairs. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the hammer and pliers. And actually, I don't think I'm going to keep those in this workbench because we may need them on the road. Uh, for our toolbox. I don't, uh, but I can't put them in the toolbox and then leave them in there because as soon as I pick it up, it's going to. Can I get water out of this? Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. So we got dirty water now. Um, I guess there's no reason to not open that up. Let's put the dirty water in here until we can find that cooking pot. And then we'll just put the rest of this stuff in here. Oh, actually, I wanted to make another uh, frame. Right, so let's do that. <coughs> Excuse me. We can put this uh, here. Let's do this. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. We should get ourselves a bow made and... Um, and I need to remake the, the bone scythe for, so we can get credit for the quest. Okay. So let's head back over to the trader and we'll, um, touch some grass along the way. Recipe. It's bone scythe. We uh we need sticks, okay. Oh, we can make an orange one too, that's even better. 
Okay, so once we craft that, we'll get credit and we can take the mod off of this one. And this, I guess we just scrap. Uh, doesn't look like we can. All right, then we don't even need it. Actually, I'm just curious though. What is the comparison? It's a half a point less. Gotcha. This doesn't sell for anything, does it? No. Okay. All right, let's ditch the stick. Let's turn these into more rope. And for a bow... Oh, you know what? We probably need sticks, now that I think about it, for, for arrows. So, primitive bow, we'll track that. Uh, we need tree branches. Okay. I have some back at the base, but we'll just chop another tree here. Let's make ourselves a bow. Where did I... Where did I get a shovel from? Was that given to me? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, maybe Rekt gave it to me to do the, the first uh, buried treasure quest. That's probably what happened. Uh, okay, so arrows, stone arrows. Can we... We can make these... Wait a minute. Black magic. Oh, no, those are bolts. No, it says arrow here, but it says bolt there. What? This arrow has been dipped in a solution that will turn normal and dead to temporarily fight for you. I I probably can't do this, though, until I actually read the Black Magic book, I'm guessing. Uh, what does a normal arrow uh, require? Oh, the feathers that I... No, I've got the feathers, sticks. Oh, we need stones. All right, let's track that. Um, I need to repair our axe anyway. And we'll go find a couple of stones here. All right. Resume. Let's let Goldie soften that asshole up. Oh. Oh, shit. How come you're running so fast? Damn. Uh, all right. Anyway, um, let's, before we make arrows, let's repair our, our axe. And then now we need more rocks. That guy was like on me, man. We'll also hit some stumps here. And it looks like we have a little wilderness POI that might have some loots for us. Come on, honey. Look at that. All right. We'll keep that on the toolbar. There's a, looks like motorcycle wheel. Those are fairly common. So I think I'll just sell that. Is there anything up here? Uh-uh. There's our first cassette tape. Nice. So what you do with these, if you don't know, is you consume them. And once you learn um, all of the cassette tapes in a volume... You can then put them in your Walkman, which we also have to find, or your vehicle, and you get bonuses. And you get to listen to groovy music, too, so it's really cool. Okay, let's go get that mod made before we do anything else. I know I, I still have to make some arrows, too. I haven't forgotten, but I want to get that, that mod made so we can start taking advantage of it. I'm surprised that's not protected. And we'll just, this will just be the forge that we'll use until later when we can make our own. All right, let's put a little bit of fuel in there. And now, oh shit, you know what? I forgot to, I gotta go back and get the, uh, the genetic thingies. 
Can't take me anywhere, man, I swear. All right, well, while whilst we're here... Okay, fucker, quit gawking. Either buy something or piss off. Or piss off. Uh, yeah, let's just sell this for now. We'll, 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 we won't have any trouble finding more of those. Famous last words, right? Uh, we don't need that. And uh, we'll sell him those. And he's not going to want those, so let's just ditch him. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. Um, do we have ammo? Yeah, let's do some ammo exchange with Briston. Okay, so yeah, we got to go back home and get the get the um, genetics to make the mod. I totally forgot to bring that with me. You ugly. Hunting. Full control. Resume. Hit the wrong button there. Nice if there was a way I could make that keyboard shortcut be a single key. I mean, I guess I could get a like a macro program thingy. Uh, that way I don't have to, because I need two hands, you know, one to press shift and one to press comma. Not a big deal, but it does matter when you're in con in the middle of combat. Okay, let's run back here, get our genetics. Let's see, I put those in here, right? Yeah. Let's also do a one of these. And the college jacket we'll keep in there. We'll keep those in there and those in there. Let's grab these stones and sticks. And um Black Magic Bowl. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to make normal arrows for now. Resume. Beautiful. Resume. Here we go. Physician mod. Craft. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go here. Go modify. Put this... Uh, oh. Wait a sec. Oh, that's a head slot. Okay, so yeah, we gotta make the... We gotta make the armor. Um, head armor. In fact, we might as well make all of the rest of the plant fiber armor because it's better than nothing right uh so if we go to here primitive hood let's make that first and we're gonna need cloth and more rope right okay so let's grab a uh, rope from here let's also get this loaded by the way Let's see if we can find some cotton plants, too, for the cloth. There is a nitrate deposit here. Let's save that. Or, up, oh, caps lock. Uh, for later mining. Halt. Oops. Resume. 
and we're going to modify that. We're going to put this on here. This gives us plus one to physician perk. Nice. Halt. Off with your head. Okay, let's wear that. And now if we look here. The hell? Crawler probably, right? I don't know where he Resume. is. Goldie knows where he is. Bring him over here so I can see him. All right. Anyway, uh, well, yeah, we better kill him first, actually. Okay. So if we go to genetics and we go to intelligence, we now have the first point in physician. Uh, this is definitely an emergency. Critical injuries heal 50% faster. Medical healing items heal 25% more health over time. Splints and cast cure sprains instantly. Yes, <laughs> that's what. I, that's the main reason why I got that. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've broken or sprained my leg or wrist in uh, the purge playthrough, and it's just oh, nice eggs. Just a pain in the ass, man. I'll tell you what. Resume. Okay, let's kill these Zeeks. I didn't halt him in time. Sent the wrong key combination. Yeah, it sucks that those are key combinations. Somebody else. Resume. Halt. All right, we can already make a better quality scythe. And how are we doing on our progress? Let's take a look at that. Okay, we're halfway there, guys. Um, well, I think, wait, are we? Is that, is that, or does that just mean halfway to the next level? No, I think this is the progress towards the Witch Doctor fragment. Pretty sure. Um, okay, good. So we're about halfway there. That does not suck. So we might as well make uh, another, you know, keep making better bone size because, of course, they're going to do a little more damage. But I think our priority at the moment is going to be... Let's make three more ropes here. We still have to find a cooking pot and or a grill. That's like one of our highest priorities. We need to find glue pipes, glue and pipes so we can make the, the pipe machine gun. Uh, and that's going to be more likely to happen as we go through POIs. So I think what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode is I'm just going to gather up some resources, kill some more Zeeks. Um, and then, you know, uh, as we did last night, hunker down on the building and wait for morning before we proceed, because we do not want to be out at night time. Uh, let's take a look inside this vehicle here. Chance for glue and pipes. Okay, no, but acid's good, too. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I will keep the camera rolling if anything significant happens between now and the next episode, and I will show you uh, that footage if, uh, you know, uh, if it's significant enough to show. Otherwise, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Say goodbye, Goldie. She said goodbye.